Welcome back to Tanya in 5. Today, we recap letter 2 in the Geret HaKodesh. This letter, the Yalter Rebbe wrote to his followers, to his Hasidim, following his release from Tsarist imprisonment. What was the Rebbe doing in prison? Well, when the movement of Hasidus began, it was met with strong opposition within the world of Orthodox Judaism. At the time, many feared that the new paths chartered by the Hasidic movement would eventually lead to, God forbid, diminishment in the observance of Torah and mitzvahs. Of course, 300 years later, we understand that Hasidus enhances the observance of Torah and mitzvahs, but at the time it was rather controversial. There were some who were so fierce in their opposition to Hasidus that they actually schemed and plotted to frame the Alter Rebbe, and thus he was imprisoned for 53 days. On the 19th of Kislev in the year 1798, he was released from Tsarist imprisonment, all charges dropped. That day is celebrated till this very day as the New Year of Hasidus. It's the day on which the cycle of Tanya begins anew each year. So, following these events, the Alter Rebbe wrote a letter to his Hasidim addressing the issue of what their attitude should be toward those who opposed Hasidus and who caused the Alter Rebbe to be imprisoned. So he begins by explaining the verse. The verse is in Genesis where Jacob, when he's about to meet his brother Esau after many years, and is afraid. And he says, I have been made small because of all of the kindness that God has granted me. Now, notwithstanding the fact that God had promised that everything would be okay, he was still afraid. And he expressed that fear in these words, I have been made small by all the kindness. So what did he mean by saying this? Why was he afraid? So the classic commentary explains, Rashi that is, that Yaakov feared that given that God had been so kind to him till now, that his merit have been decreased and run out, and thus he has no more merit left to withstand the inevitable fight with Esau. And thus he says, I've been made small from all the kindness. The Alter Rebbe takes that interpretation one step further and says, this humility that Yaakov had to say and think that he had run out of merits, that humility itself came from the kindness that God had showed him. As implied by the verse, I've been made small by the kindness. The kindness itself inspires the smallness, this humility. Now why is that? Why is it that kindness inspires humility? So explains the Alter Rebbe, every kindness that God grants is God bringing us close to Him. And the closer one gets to God, the more humble one is. In that which is in opposition to God, in Klippa, kindness in Klippa and that which is opposition to God is egotistical. I deserve what I have and I want more. Whereas when one gets close to God, before whom all is insignificant, therefore the closer one gets, the more insignificant one should feel, the more humble one feels. And therefore, after all the kindness God showed Yaakov, Yaakov says to God, I am totally humbled in your presence by all the kindness. I don't know that I deserve any more. And thus I'm afraid of what's about to come when I meet my brother Yaakov. And therefore says the Alter Rebbe, God forbid to gloat or to speak uh, negatively towards those opponents of Hasidus who caused the Alter Rebbe to be imprisoned. Quite the contrary. With humility, express love to them. And hopefully, they will express love back. The takeaway from all of this is, every one of us have a gift from God, or many gifts. For one, it's money. For one, it's family. For one, it's a spouse. For one, it's good health. For one, it's a mind. For one, it's a good personality. Everybody has their gifts. Instead of thinking, well, what I have I deserve, and why don't I have the other guy's gift? Why don't I also have money? Why don't I also have family? That inevitably leads 
to arrogant unhappiness. But when one is humble and says, I don't deserve anything. Thank you, God, for the gift that I have. I'm humbled by the gifts I have. I'm happy with the gifts I have. And I'm proud and humble in my using those gifts to the right purpose. Looking forward to seeing you when we conclude letter three.